Hi, I'm Dougie Shaw from Ember Bike Fitting and this is Steph and today we're going to look at setting up handlebars. So the first thing we're going to look at is, is bar width and quite a lot of the time, especially on girls when they come into the studio, I tend to find that the bar width is really sort of not quite how I'd like it. So if you put your hands to this bar here, there's a couple of things that are going on that's telling me that the, the handlebar is just a bit too wide. So the first thing that I'm seeing is almost this gorilla effect where you're like, your elbows are sticking out loads and even if you just want to pedal for me just a little bit, you can see there's a, like a lot of work going on there just to stabilize your position. So you just ease off there and you go down to the drops for me. Okay, so it's the same thing and it gets even worse. Your arms just stick out and you're having to work quite hard. So back to here. Now, one of the telltale signs that you can tell from yourself is if you look at your wrists and they're, they start to just kink in yeah. and you see that you know, your hands almost want to find more of a narrow position. Um, now that has quite an interesting effect back up to your shoulder. So you internally rotate your forearm, which goes in like this. And then all of a sudden what starts to happen is your shoulders at the top start to kind of shrug and you get this kind of uncomfortable, really sore neck. So if your handlebars seem a little bit wide and you keep on finishing your bike rides with really sore necks and really sore shoulders, it might be worth thinking about getting someone to measure your shoulder width and seeing what it is. And there can be several guides online, one of, you know, so you can go online and find out you know, how to measure your shoulder width for what bar. And, uh, and yeah, see if your bar is far too wide. So let's have a look and see what a bar looks like when it's the right width. Okay, so go back to the house. Right, so if you just want to sort of, just even tell me how this bar feels different compared to the other one. Yeah, I mean, on the other one, I was clearly sort of had my elbows out. I felt sort of, yeah, it really has quite an impact on your shoulders. So I think straight away without you yeah. realizing now, I feel just more comfortable and mm -hmm. I don't feel a strain in my neck or my shoulders. Yeah. The other thing that's quite interesting is even if, if your arms are, are wider than they should be, mm -hmm. in effect, it almost pulls you further away. So sometimes a narrower bar, even though you've not changed the length stem or you've not changed the, the reach in the bar necessarily, you can feel like you're in much more of a compact position yeah. and more connected to the bike. Yeah, definitely. So another one we can sort of have a look here is, let's stretch this out a little bit more, we have a look between the shoulder and the wrist. It's much more in line and, and kind of more in line with how your body kind of wants to sit on the bike probably feel more stable as well. Yeah, okay. definitely probably a little bit more aero as well even. Oh, definitely, yeah, it's all about aero gains. <laughs> but um, especially if you're racing, um, just go down to the drops. Another thing as well, just if you're riding in a bunch quite a lot, having a narrower bar just kind of makes it feel a bit sort of nicer. Yeah. You know, you're not gonna bash elbows with anyone. Just build up a small pedal stroke for me. Okay, back up to here and just move around. And it's far more stable and far more yeah. solid when you're riding. Okay, so just these off there. Right, so the next thing we're going to start having a look at is just distribution of, uh, of weight on your, on your hands on the bar and also the setting up the drops relative to setting up the, the hood position, okay. which is another thing that I see all the time. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so we've had a look at bar width and now I'm really interested in having a look at the setup of the drops and the hoods relative to one another. So if I just get you to build up a small pedal stroke for me. Yeah. Okay, and just uh, sort of have a reach for the brakes. Okay, so that's that's quite awkward. Yeah. Okay, then. you just ease off. So how did that feel just riding on the drops there? Um, I sort of feel like my knees are coming up quite high. Yeah. Um, so it's almost it's not it doesn't feel that natural either. Yeah. And obviously, yeah, I mean, I can't reach for the uh, brakes very easily, and that's why I sort of have to move my hand up. Yeah. There. So then you're bringing your elbows down doesn't feel like, you know, if maybe a car came out in front of you or something, you wouldn't have like instant access no, to, the, no. to the brakes like at no, all. And uh, yeah, so just maybe not that confidence inspiring, you know, especially if you're maybe descending or you know the, the speed of the road picks up, you know, yeah. you, that's almost when you want to be on the drops because it makes the bike feel better, yeah. not in the back of your mind, making you nervous because you can't reach for the brakes and stop. So then just go back up to here and just, just like, let me know how that feels. So on your hands, especially. Um, I do feel quite a lot of pressure sort of on the outside of my hand here. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, mainly there. On the outside of your hand? Yeah, just okay. sort of the back here. Yeah. So I mean, ideally for me, what I'd like in, in any sort of bar and hood position is an even feeling of weight in your hands. Okay. And especially on the, on the bar, like I, I want 
the, the tops to be comfortable, the hoods to be comfortable, and the drops to be comfortable. Not not sort of one part of the bar is always a little bit comfortable, and the rest of it's almost just like a sacrifice to that one area that you can sort of make good. So just move between the hoods and the drops a couple of times, um, and just let me know sort of how that how that feels. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it doesn't feel, it's not sort of easy, it's not, it doesn't feel very natural either. Yeah, okay, so let's just make some changes to the bar. So very quickly, I'll just change the angle of the drop, okay. so, let's see. Okay, so go straight back down to the drops for me, and straight away, mm -hmm. your shoulders are, are sitting back, your neck looks like it's less pressure, build up a small pedal stroke for me. Yeah. Knees feel okay over the top? Yeah, I mean before they felt like it was sort of coming up and it was a bit awkward. Yeah, okay, perfect. Back to the tops here. Um, yeah, okay, now if I just get you to ease off there. Um, let me know, so if you go onto the hoods now though, let me see. So this is another sort of classic problem that I see. You know, maybe the drops are set up quite well, but the angle of the hood at the top isn't set up. So if I have a look at the angle of your hand, it's almost like falling down. Yeah. So that just starts to bring you forward, especially at the shoulder. And you know, a lot of pressure maybe on your forearms and your elbows that maybe not right this second, but Every after time. a couple of hours might start to feel, you know, just not that nice. Especially like if I was to stretch out the stem slightly. We feel that pressure just starting to come on. Yeah, you really yeah, have to yeah. work to hold. I can already feel it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll make you more comfortable there. Now, if you just set up a second, mm -hmm. let me just change the angle of the hoods. So, I guess a nice tip would be to, once all the tape's off and all the all the cables are off on your on your bike, you can really sort of get the drops in a position that feels really comfortable. So for me, that would be a position where the drop feels like it's in all of your palm. And then, while the tape's off and everything's out of the way, you can start fiddling around with the hoods to make sure you can get those in a good position as well. And it's just really interesting for me, the, the, the handlebars and the, and the hood position, because you can make someone look and feel so much better on a bike just by Pretty changing. Yeah. yeah. And you and you might not know sort of how bad it was until, until and then it changes and you think, oh, wow, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so if you go back onto the hoods just there. Okay, so even feeling of weight across the hands? Much more easy. Yeah. Okay. And maybe not perfect just now, but with a little bit of tinkering around, you can get it. It doesn't take very long. So let's put the stem out slightly longer, and you can just cope with it so much better. Yeah. Especially now the hoods are more across your hands. Yeah. The shoulder isn't wanting to kind of come forward yeah. like it was previously. And then go down to the drops and reach for the brakes. It's far easier, yeah. Okay, perfect. So just build up a pedal stroke and just move between the drops and the hoods a few times. And just ease off there. And to me, that just looks a lot less awkward, a lot more comfortable, less pressure on your neck, all from just changing the drops and all from just changing the hood position as well to go along with it. So, yeah, so that's how I set up handlebars and drops. And thanks very much for watching. If you like what we were uh, sort of doing with the handlebars here and you'd like to book a fit for yourself, then have a look at edinburghbikefitting.com or search out Triathlon Steph on Instagram, and I'm sure you'll find both of us.